guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be here today and sit down and talk to you guys about some travel items. I have been a flight attendant for almost 10 years. I'm on my 10th year of flying, which is so crazy to me. And I have tried a bunch of products. Some have been sent to me, some I've purchased myself, and I've been able to kind of get an idea of what things are worth investing in. And I thought that I would share those with you today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and I'm an Orlando-based flight attendant and I vlog about my life as a flight attendant, as a mom, I throw in a little bit of lifestyle. I'm trying to post weekly, so make sure to turn on your notification bell so that you never miss a video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm very active there as well. I pretty much post there every single day. So I would love to have you there. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be sharing with you some items that I think are worth spending the money on. And some of these are a little bit on the higher price point, but you can definitely find something that's similar on Amazon or somewhere else. And pretty much get the same thing. I'm gonna leave links to everything down below. If you hear kids in the background, the kids are supposed to be napping right now, but they're kind of fighting it and this is my only time to sit down and make this video. Cup number two of the day. <laughs> All right, the first thing is some sort of fanny pack, honestly, or belt bag. I call them fanny packs because that's just the millennial in me, but this is so, so convenient to travel with because you can literally just put it like this, put a coat over it and you can't really see it. You don't look like a tourist walking around. We went to Santo Domingo the other day and I was wearing my belt bag like this and I just stood out like a tourist. But when I was in Europe, since it was so cold, I had a coat over it and you couldn't see it. And it's it's a really good way to be able to have all your belongings in there, like your, per your wallet, your cards, whatever, your phone. So if you've been looking into getting one of these, it doesn't have to be a Lululemon one. I just have a problem with getting Lululemon things. But you can get any sort of belt bag and definitely, definitely get one. It's so worth it and so convenient. Thinking of Lululemon, you don't need to have a jacket from Lululemon, but something that is along the lines of what I'm gonna tell you, and it is a packable jacket. So in here, I have a whole jacket. I took this to Madrid when it was so, so cold, and I actually took this to New York not so long ago, and I just put this in my bag. I opened it up and it is a whole jacket. It's long, it has a hood, and it actually keeps you really, really warm. It was very pricey. I got it on sale and it was pricey, but I thought, again, I'm a flight attendant, I travel a lot, I wanna have good quality things, and things that are going to last me for a long time. So I decided to invest in this. I got it from the uh, We Made Too Much section on Lululemon, which if you didn't know, it's like their sale section, and you can find a lot of discounted prices and my husband is a veteran he gets a discount and that discount is extended to spouses so i get an extra 15 percent off which is really nice so if you didn't know that now you know next is a shoe bag a shoe bag for your shoes is so important because i cannot stand the thought of the bottom of my shoes touching my clothes in my <laughs> in my suitcase so i bought this bag set maybe about four years ago on Amazon, and it's been so good. This one actually wasn't expensive. It's lasted me forever. I have it in my bag all the time when I go on trips, and then when I go on leisure trips as well. So definitely invest in some sort of bag. I know some people just put them in plastic bags, sometimes like grocery bags, but it's good to have a designated one for travel because a lot of the times they're like waterproof, so in case something spills in your bag, it's not gonna damage your shoes. I cannot stress enough how much I wish I would have bought a Kindle a long time ago when I first became a flight attendant. I have read so much since I got my Kindle. I'm currently reading the Prince Harry book, which that could be a whole video in itself, but I have been reading a lot and I've had this for about a year and a half and it's in great condition. I take really good care of it and it's always in my work bag. So if you're always on the go, definitely recommend a Kindle. I know a lot of people like the actual touch of a book. I really don't care about that. I like to have my books all in one place and I just like the convenience of having a Kindle. This next thing I actually discovered when we went to Europe this time and I am so grateful for it and they are storage vacuum bags. So this can be used to put any blankets, comforters, anything bulky, but I was able to get these on Amazon. It comes with a free hand pump and I was able to separate everybody's clothes and save tons of room in our suitcase when we, I mean, we went for 15 days, so we needed a lot of clothes. It was cold. So this was amazing. 
and like i said it has the free hand pump so when you come back and you have to pack everything back and you know travel back to your home you can vacuum seal everything again and it was just so convenient this is something that i get asked a lot ever since i showed it in one of my videos i actually get tons of dms about this and i'm not exaggerating i really do get a lot of dms asking if the bays toiletry bag and weekender bags are worth it so i actually got some for the trip and i got the dop bag i believe that's how it is that's how you say it and this is my toiletry bag and it's helped me keep everything separate i've seen some similar ones on amazon so you can take a look on amazon as well and so here is where i keep a lot of toiletries and then it has a bottom compartment right here and this is where i keep let's say like anything hair related so that's another compartment and it feels like really good quality again they're a little pricey because it is beige but i really like the quality i really like the feel of it and this isn't sponsored by them or anything. I bought this stuff myself. But I got the mini weekender bag. I want the big one, but I don't really have a use for it right now. And this was, oh my goodness, so, so helpful. It's a little bit uncomfortable once it gets heavy, but the convenience of it is just perfect. It has a sleeve right here for you to be able to put it on your carry-on. So once it's on your carry-on it's absolutely no problem it has this strap right here for you to wear it like a crossbody it has these handles right here that allow you allows you to either carry it like this like this or even put it over your shoulder there's tons of space in there you can even have a laptop in there i had my laptop my ipad I had a bunch of stuff for the boys in there and then my favorite part was this bottom compartment right here which some people will use for shoes i used it for diapers so that was my way of keeping the diapers and wipes completely separate for the trip because those can take up a lot of space so in here i had their snacks their toys and all that stuff so this was again uh, a little pricey i know there was a dupe on i think at sam's but i'm sure there's one that you can find on amazon as well these are really hard to find when they're in stock if you want one get it they're worth it i've talked about these before but they're just so good and I've actually even had the chance to work with this brand and it is the ever snug blank, uh, blankets and pillows. I think these are so worth it. They're so convenient. This is a pillow and a blanket in one. You can put it on the handle of your suitcase right here, or you can hang it up from your bag, your backpack, whatever. And you have a pillow. And then if you get cold on the plane, you have the blanket that's in here. So Planes can get really cold and a lot of people don't travel with sweaters when they're on the plane for some reason and then they get cold. So this is cool because you don't have to carry a whole bunch of different things. Everything is all right there. So I have it in black and I have it in pink. One for me and one for George. I even got my dad one of these and he loves it. Next is the Subtle Beauty Makeup Stack. I worked with them this month and I cannot get enough of this stuff. I keep one of these in my car and I actually kind of want to order one for my um, carry-on bag to have there in case of an emergency, like for my turn bag, in case I have to work a trip, we get stuck somewhere, I have makeup with me and I don't have to take my whole makeup bag because it has concealer, lip and cheek, bronzer, eyeshadow, and highlighter. So I can at least do like my concealer and add a little bit of color. So this is actually really convenient to have because you see, it's really really compact and it just has everything there so i highly recommend looking into these as well this next thing is something that we've had for a while and we actually have to replace it because it's about to expire so this is a travel booster seat we got this for alex and now he doesn't need a booster seat so we we use it with luca and all you do is just put it in your car and you're able to use this as a booster seat it comes in a little bag like this so it's very portable very convenient and you don't have to carry around a big car seat if your kid is old enough to not need a car seat. It does expire seven years after, it says it right here that it expires seven years after the manufacturing date. So I do have to check on that to make sure that we're good. We've had really good experiences with this. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I can think of so many other things that I would like to share. So I can probably make like a part two or something, but I didn't want to make this video extremely long. <laughs> I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and I'll see you guys over in my next video. Bye guys.